it's your girl veronica back at it again with another video if you're new to this channel this channel is all about side hustling making money online and just career growth so in one way or another we're just trying to make money we're just trying to hustle okay and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really really do appreciate it at the moment of filming this video i am on 444 subscribers so i am loving it and i appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you so much now without wasting any time i'm just gonna get into it um so a few days ago i was like trying to get into this transcription site i'll just mention it scribby uh maybe some of you guys have heard of it scribby so when you apply to scribby as a transcriber they need you to have a verified paypal account and i was very shocked because the transcription sites that i had worked with previously did not need me to have a verified um you know paypal account and so i was like okay um let me just verify my account because i've never bothered to verify an account i've always transferred money in and out to use my paper and i've never actually had to verify it so you'll find that some sites will need you to have a verified paypal account it is very easy to verify your paypal account essentially at the end of the day uh verifying your paypal account is important because it just shows that you are actually like a real person because for in order for you to verify your account you essentially need to have like a card either a debit card or a credit card connected and for you to verify that there's gonna be a digit that is gonna be needed um you know that is gonna be needed from the from your banking app so it's, it's it's a lot that goes into it it's a lot that goes on so at the end of the day they will be able to verify your paypal account because you're gonna go through all those steps so it just essentially tells them that you're a real person at the end of the day because some sites just be thinking that people just create paypal accounts for fun but honestly at the end of the day you will just be letting them know that you know what i am a real person okay so without wasting any of your time i'm just gonna get into it as i've already wasted i think three minutes of your time but let's get into it right you're just gonna log into your paypal you log into your paypal as you can see today i'm on my laptop so I, I think you can do this either on your app or your like on your phone or on your laptop either or it still works it does the same thing make sure you log in you're gonna be on your dashboard as usual i think that's where everything happens always be on your dashboard you don't need to be on the send slash request uh section or the wallet section as you can see here or the activity section right so you log in to your paypal balance guys I'm also going to say this now. I might blur out some information here because I don't want to show my details on the internet. And guys, if you want to send me money, please do. Feel free. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. No, maybe I'm not. Anyways, guys, you're going to scroll down, right? You're going to scroll down right here. You're going to see where your bank cards are. A week ago, I think was it almost two weeks ago, I did a video on how to link your bank account your bank cards to your paypal and you can see here there is already a linked one so we're just gonna click on that right boom when you click on it you have your card right there you can see there's my card right there right and then it's just gonna show uh so with paypal you can always link as many cards as you want so if you have five cards you can link five cards okay i don't know about five but you can always have like two or more and stuff like that so here where there's your card you're just gonna scroll down a bit because you see here it's gonna say because i linked a stupid a student debit card so that's why you can see all the apps that people know that's an apps card um but you're gonna just scroll down here right you're gonna scroll down and it's gonna ask you want to use your paypal account with no withdrawal limits confirm your card right so at the end of the day this is how you confirm your card guys it is very easy it is not a you know scary task don't now freak out and just be like oh my gosh what happens no guys it's very easy right so you're just gonna make sure you click right here want to use your paypal account with no spending or withdrawal limits question mark confirm your card that is where we're gonna click okay boom so that is where you're gonna click right we're gonna click here confirm card just click there 
Perfect. So it takes you to, the, I'm pretty sure everybody can see this page that I'm on right now. So it's going to confirm your card. Um, you know, you will see the end, the last four digits of your card just to make sure that you're confirming the right card, right? So here at number one, it says, look for a small charge on your card. After, your requ after you request a code, we'll charge $1.95 to your card. It usually appears within two to three business days. After you confirm it, we will refund the amount, right? So essentially what they're going to do is right now, what you're going to like ask them for the code, right? You're going to ask them for the code, right? After you ask for the code, it's going to come up on your bank statement. So make sure when you're doing this, guys, you have your app. You have like, if you're with APSA, you have the APSA banking app and you can always check for your statements there, right? I mean, if you don't have the app, you could always go to the bank, but if you have the app, it makes it easier. They will send you a code. So you will see their PayPal with the code there. And as it says here, two to three days. So this is not like a one day process, guys. It's not like something that you can do like, oh, okay, I just wanna, let me verify quick, quick. No, it's gonna take, two to three business days so you just have to sort of like always look out for your statement you have to always just look through for your statement right and they'll charge you this this is almost like two dollars which in south african rands that's almost like 40 bucks and they will refund it guys so don't be like oh my gosh my two dollars they will refund it okay so the second step as you can see enter the code in paypal log into paypal select the card from your payment methods basically what we were doing before and enter the code sent along with the charge do you get what i mean so if i click here get get a code i'm not going to click get a code because i don't need to verify uh this paypal account i already have one verified so i'll just click here get a code it's fast it's simple you don't have to worry about anything so yeah guys um if you reach this part of the video thank you so much for watching but essentially, that's what it is. It is so easy, you guys. It is so quick. Well, not so quick. You're just going to have to wait for two to three uh, business days. But so like as when this is done, then your PayPal is going to be verified. So all those sites and stuff like that that you want to apply to, that you want to log into, it's going to be very much easy going forth. But yeah, guys, if you've reached this part of the video, thank you so much for just liking please do like and share and you guys know the gist you guys know what's up but yeah thank you so much and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye